Welcome to this series, How I Passed My ASQ Exam. In this video, I will be talking to Tony Kondak, who recently passed his ASQ CQE, which is the Certified Quality Engineer exam. So in this video, I talked to him about his background and what all books and resources did he use to pass this exam in the first attempt. So here is that interview. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Hi, Sandeep. How are you? Very good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Th th thanks for accepting my invitation. <laughs> oh, no problem. I, uh, it's, it's my pleasure. I'm very, very excited to talk to you. So tell, tell us something about you, uh, what you do and how you got into quality or something you want to talk about your role in quality. Okay, so, so um, I work in a, in a manufacturing um, business. We make, uh, we make equipment, we make machinery for the steel industry. And I've been with my company now for over 20 years, for working primarily as a mechanical engineer. But within the past year, I took a job as quality manager for our factory in Massachusetts. And taking the, taking the job as a quality manager, I felt that I needed to learn more about the language of quality and a lot more about the fundamentals of quality. So I decided I would take this uh, class as uh, becoming a QCQE certified. And, um, and that's the reason why I, I started down that road and, um, and took your course. Uh, so of course, uh, so I'm responsible for for quality management at our at our facility at our manufacturing facility. I manage a team of inspectors. Um, we are ISO 9001-2015 certified, and um, very actively involved in the day-to-day -day functions of manufacturing parts in a in a manufacturing environment. So this was your first certification, quality certification, or this, this is my first quality certification. Yes. Okay. I I done a lot of ISO auditing, you know, I've been involved in certainly the, the certification process and the audit processes, but I never, I never um, wanted to, or I never had the opportunity to, to go forward for certification in any of these areas. So this is my first time really, really doing this. That, that, that's impressive because this is like a, one of the difficult exams ESQ has. Yeah, CQE I, is uh, one of the difficult exams. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess because I because I took this position previous to my position in quality as a quality manager, I was more of a, a design engineer. I was a project manager, and uh, I really had no need for these type of certifications. So, if I had started out in quality, I think I would have I think I would have stepped up from maybe the lower levels, you know, up up to the CQE level. But since I I took this job as a as a as a, yeah. I said, well, we're just going to go for it. Yeah. Okay. That 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 was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay so uh, other question is like how much time did you spend on this whole thing preparation for this exam well um so i started probably look studying for this probably about probably about one year ago you know when i when i first took the job as a sir as a quality manager i decided to take the uh, buy the book of knowledge and i I read the book of knowledge cover to cover and um, and started out with that. And then I also got the uh, ASQ um, study guide. So I did some of the issues with the study guide and, and wanted to work. Yes, that, that study guide exactly. Yes. Yeah. So the combination with the book of knowledge and the study guide, then I said, okay, it's time to, for me to really um, schedule my exam date. And so once I, once I, I would say, I, I would say, you know, there were there were several months when I just read the book of knowledge and did and did some problems, and then once I scheduled my exam date, I said I, I really don't think I'm ready for this yet, and so that's when I looked up uh, for your course and I found your course online. It said it seems like a good good way to go about it, so I'm going to um, I'm going to purchase the course and work through the course myself. So, um, and. And really, that I really first started the course about ten days before the exam, so it was really a crash course, you know. <laughs> really, just, uh, just really just went for it and uh, and was studying multiple hours a day and many hours in the weekend before I took my exam, and so uh, it, I finished the course in ten days, went for the exam, and 
and fortunately passed. No, not fortunately. You did work for that, of course. So when, when you say... Fortunately for me, you know, I think that um, I think a lot of what I do in my own job, you know, I it, it, it applies very directly. And I, I was not um, I was very familiar with a lot of terminology and a lot of the procedures that are used in, in the day to day operation of a, of a manufacturing business. The one thing that we don't do in my in my um, area, in my industry, that we don't do a lot of sampling. You know, because we're not making a lot of high volume parts, so that that particular part of the of the coursework, I was it was a little bit foreign to me, because a lot of what we make are, are quantities less than ten. You know, when we're when we're making parts, so we're not doing a lot of sampling, but we do we do a lot of hundred percent inspection when we're making parts. Same with me also in my, like I'm in construction quality. Okay. So maybe thirty years, maybe thirty years. Or more than 30 years in quality only, but in my life also, I have not seen much of uh, acceptance sampling being used in that industry as well. So, right. Right. yes, this is something you have to study for exam. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I felt uncomfortable with, you know, pretty much. I think if it was just the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the coursework about, about ISO or quality or, you know, the history of quality, I think it would have been very fine with that. But when it got when it got into chapters section six of the of the handbook, you know, with all of those with all the statistics there, I felt very uncomfortable with it. Yeah. And, and that, that's I think that's sort of a most difficult area people find uh, that statistical portion of the course. Yeah. Hypothesis testing, design of experiments. So you you might not be using in your life, but you have to study for your exam. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So anything which you found maybe good or bad in the course, this Udemy course, like uh, you said that that helped you in acceptance sampling and those concepts, but anything which you think could be improved in that course? Um, well, what I, the, the one, the one thing I, I wish that it, you had probably done a little bit more was when a couple times in the coursework, you actually, you actually put presented a, a problem presented a challenge and you said all right now stop the video and now work through this and then start you know once you have your answer then we'll work through it i, I wish there was a little bit more of that uh, in the in the course i i enjoyed that because of that challenge of trying to work through it for myself because very often when you know when i see a, a problem you know done for me out and for me out you know, on a video or uh, on YouTube or whatever, I said, all right, that that makes a lot of sense. But when but when you have to really make those decisions for yourself up front, then it presents a little bit more of a challenge. And it's um, I think it's a good a good learning tool to to do it to do it that way rather than just watch everything all the time being done for you in front of you. So I I um I I, I wish you maybe had done a little bit more of that, but um certainly the way that you had explained it and the way that all the problems were presented was certainly very helpful in my in my in my study for the for the exam yeah thanks and i remember this was in anova i think in anova i had two of these videos where i stopped so that was the anova table where where you had to fill in the blank yes. values yes that was one yeah. that was that was certainly one of them yes yeah okay yeah i will look into that and uh, do some do something about that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and and anything about exam, like how, how many questions you think you had to go back to your book and look into the book? Oh, it's an open book, but do you really did you really open the book for many questions or I did. I opened up the book for a lot of questions. I because because I just wanted to be sure that that um that I wasn't because the language sometimes in the exam is 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 a little bit tricky the way that they word things and mm -hmm. want to make sure that um make sure you're making the right the right choice and so i just as a double check i mean i certainly would have an answer in my mind of what i thought it was but i said if i have the time i just want to just i just want to breeze through it just try to find it and um and make sure that i'm going to put down the right answer on the exam so yeah. and i would say i would say good um 
30 30 to 40 percent of the of the questions i just went and double questions i just went and double checked into the book and to make sure it's right yeah so you know the way that um i'm not sure if it's if it's the same way for everybody you know taking the uh asq cqe exam but this was a computerized exam and the and the software the interface was very helpful that you could if you right clicked on a question you could flag it you know you could flag it and you could go back to it and um so if you were maybe unsure of something you know you could um you could just sort of breeze through a lot of the questions and if you weren't you know to make sure that you had enough time to finish everything but if you weren't sure about something you could hit a right click and you could flag it and you could go back and check if you had time at the end and so yeah. I did that for me for maybe a handful of questions too Any, anything you want to give tip or something to people who are taking this exam or like for preparation for taking exam sitting in the examination hall any tip or something well uh, it, it's funny that um you know the exam was five and a half hours and i i said my goodness what what am i going to do there for five and a half hours should i <laughs> should i bring a snack should i bring a a, a drink you know am i going to have a time am i going to have trouble just sitting there and and really, the five and a half hours went by so quickly because you're just so busy answering questions. I didn't, I didn't get up once. I sat there still for five and a half hours to take this exam, and so I was quite, I was quite surprised at that actually, how quick the time went. Um, the other, the other thing is, is that uh, a lot of the questions I didn't think I was expecting to it to be more mathematically based. I was expecting it to be a, very heavy on the statistics part of it, and it really part of it. And it really wasn't. It was really, uh, it was really more of an application of the knowledge, and an application of all the quality fundamentals. Um, and it was very little that I needed to, you know, put put uh, pencil to paper to really do the calculations. You know, there was good maybe, you know, ten to twenty questions out of the hundred seventy five that you actually had to do calculations for. But most of it was application and and really. Um, and really sorting sorting out the knowledge and sorting out some of the uh, uh, you know the the answers that were or the questions that information that was given to you in the exam and applying mm -hmm. no i think uh i think that's i think that's it for for now i think um um just um just wanted to say that i uh, i was really happy that i that i chose to take take your course i think it was very beneficial um it was um it was very interesting i, I like i like the part about you know having the uh, the shorter video segments you know and in fact in fact i if i saw that a segment was you know going to be you know closer to 20 minutes long i was like oh well this is going to be a long one i better i better make sure that i'm i'm prepared to sit here for that for that long but i i like having these shorter segments but even so because it was a crash course i would sometimes be studying for mostly you know three to four hours per per night you know, for the last mm -hmm. 10 days to go through the course, but I felt it very interesting and, uh, and, and really helpful in, in, in my studies for the exam. Thanks, Tony. Thank thanks, Tony. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Thank you so much for accepting the invitation and uh, talking to me. Okay. That's, I'm re and... really happy to, really happy to speak with you in person. And all right. Thank you. All the best of luck with it. I think you do a, a fantastic job.